Are you running out of space? You feel that cloud storage is very expensive and you cannot afford it? You bought an SSD and you have no idea how to install it. Well, you have landed in the right place. This is Gaurav and welcome to 100 GB. So this video is going to be a very simple tutorial on how to install an SSD or hard disk in your PC. So what all components you need? First is the PC and the hard disk or the SSD. The second is the SATA cable. So this cable connects your hard disk with the motherboard. And the third one is the power cable. So it turns out that the hard disks or the SSDs these days are not very smart. They need extra power, as in they cannot just take power from the motherboard for some reason. And that's the reason you need this power cable, which will connect the hard disk or the SSD with the power supply. So in my configuration, the power cable is already providing power to a few components. So it's already in there. Install this SATA cable into the motherboard. Oh, see what I just found. <laughs> this poor guy actually fell. Wasn't an earthquake or something. Huh. Okay, so before you actually buy this SATA cable, just see how wire routing will happen in your motherboard. If you see this, uh, these four SATA ports on my motherboard, and if you see the wiring, all this wiring is actually being routed from the back of the motherboard, which means that right after the wire comes out from the motherboard, it bends right away. It has to bend right away, like this wire right in there. And that's the reason I got a cable which is actually bent from at least one end. So this, this will actually help me to make sure that the cable routing is correct with my configuration. So just be aware about this. Okay, finally, after a lot of juggling around, I'm finally able to route this wire to the back of the motherboard. And if we see the back side, okay, there we have this wire. Let's quickly go to step two. So step two is where you connect the power cable with the power supply. So this is a modular power supply, which means that uh, the wires don't come out of the power supply and instead it has a couple of ports and I already have one power cable yeah so this is the power cable which I've already connected with power supply and this is the free port which I will be using for the SSD okay now third step well it's very simple you need to connect this power cable and the SATA cable with the hard disk and then you need to place your SSD in the uh, relevant compartment so this compartment actually differs from case to case you will have to probably go through the user manual of your case and figure it out so in my case i don't have any compartment I, i'll basically place it somewhere around here and just keep it like that Okay, finally, it is done. Okay, if you can see, it's not in a very great position, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, it works. It should work. Okay. Okay, let's quickly reconnect the GPU cable. I had to disconnect it. Okay, uh, it's a bit weird right now, but okay. Done. Okay, we're almost done and I'm not gonna place this guy in there, at least for now. Okay, now that we have installed the SSD, there is this fourth step as well. After starting the PC, you will have to format it 
and if you're using windows the most popular format is ntfs if you're not using windows instead of using the disk utility you can use the there is some cli tool available in linux for mac i'm not very sure but i'm, I'm i think there would be some kind of software which is uh, which is available for partitioning and formatting the disk so here you have the quick look of how i did it with my pc That's it. Yes, it's very simple. The second step actually took a lot of time. It was supposed to take just five minutes, but because of this small case, I had to fiddle with a lot of various wires which were at the back of the motherboard, and eventually it took 25 minutes. Anyhow, I hope you liked this video. It helped you, and if it did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah. That is it. Thank you.